Hey, it's all rise to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can It's the program. We're on television every day, once a day, twice a day, three times a day. Uh, once twice, three times a day. It's only once a day, though. It's Monday today. You see right here. Monday. And it's uh, episode 2,431. 2017 May the 15th it's the uh, season premiere though today or finale the season finale and we're doing the season finale today it's pretty good you know uh, it's been quite the season season 24 this is our uh, almost gonna be at a hundred video days starting tomorrow so, this is, I think, the, this is our last day before we hit 100 video days, or maybe tomorrow, as I'm not sure how it works exactly, but we can find out. So, we're doing that. So, it's a, a slightly extra special season premiere. And we've had 24 season premieres, and this is the 24th one, or 23 season premieres. And now we're going to be in the season, we're moving into season 25. Ah, how does this work? Because it's like season one. <laughs> Season one is thirty to to a hundred and thirty, and then season two is in the hundreds, so one hundred. So I think it's season twenty-five. I think we're in season twenty-four right now, and we're moving into season twenty-five. And it's like you complete once you complete the season, then you're done with it. So season twenty-five. That sounds like it's like a number that's divisible into a hundred. And it's like the last one, so we're gonna leave season 24, moving into season 25. It's a pretty good feeling. I feel good about it today. Do you feel good about it? I think I'm not gonna die. I believe in not <laughs> dying today. Maybe it's too soon to think about not dying or dying about the hour. Maybe I should have not even thought about dying. Now I'm thinking about that. Maybe I'm not gonna live through this hour. I'm gonna live though. I'm, I'm fairly confident that I'm gonna live through the hour. And you don't wanna, don't wanna say you're not gonna live through the hour. Who's gonna wanna say that kind of thing? Oh no! I didn't get a fork. Uh oh. Well, that's a problem. Maybe I mean I can live without food, but I wanna eat this food. Where's the forks? I think there's a food. Oh, I think there's a food zone over here. If I want to try to find a fork, I know where to look at least. Thanks, Freddy, for this food zone. Oh, everything's okay. <laughs> Whoa, when I get close to the camera, that bright brightens up. 
food zone is below the camera, viewers. If if I ever say in the future, like, hey, where's where's the fork? Well, actually, if I get it right now, it's probably not going to be here. Uh, there's, I found a single chopstick in the food zone. See. Now, if I find a second one, then we're good to go. Or a fork. When you find chopsticks, you have to find two of them. Oh, I got a pen. I don't want to eat with the with a pen and a chopstick. I want a fork. It's Cheetos. Cups. Isn't this fun? Viewers, maybe we should get something going. Let's look at it. Let's look at the phones. Season premiere. Looking for forks. Oh, we got a good amount of, of messages. We can listen to some of them. Oh, that band. That band tried, I think this is going to be from that, Sam, what, Sam? Sam the band, or maybe this is Elias. Or maybe it's nobody. Hello? Sound? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's nobody. Well, you're not very helpful. I'm trying to find a fork, uh, caller. Why, if you say something, give me a chance to find a fork. All right. Well, yell fellow, I think also is not going to have much to say about getting a fork, but maybe we can call him and then I can we just have him say things and until I come back. So you yell fellow, I'm looking for a fork. You talk for a minute. I need a fork. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. Hey, how are ya? How are ya? Um, oh, I'm gonna call Freddie, the producer, and say, Freddie, have you seen a fork anywhere? When was the last time you saw a fork? You, uh, and not, not in life. Around here. I'm looking through this bag now, too. I remember when that I was uh, watching some of those episodes and like the... There's the stucco, the stucco episode where I'm looking for a fork. I think I eventually uh, decide that I'm just gonna eat the, uh, like, I'm gonna go with uh, eating with, I think, I, I, oh, I, oh, geez, I think I ended up eating with like a piece of, maybe I did find chopsticks or something. Now I'm like looking in the couch, <laughs> it's gonna be a weird fork, but is there a fork in the couch? That would be a weird space for a fork. All right, here we go. Calling yellow fellow. Yellow fellow, help me, I'm hungry. Okay, here it goes. Calling yellow fellow. Is it going? Oh, there it goes. The voicemail box. Wrong. First thing you call oh, has a voicemail box, box that has not been, been set, up. set up yet. Goodbye. Goodbye, yellow fellow. Not help. Not too much help on this fork deal. All right, next I'm gonna call Freddy, the producer. Maybe Freddy can help. But I don't. I don't think so because there's that. Um. The, oh, hello. Oh, it's doing it. I just picked it up. <laughs> it, it knew. Cause there's a um kitchen zone. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy. How are ya? I'm doing good. Um, working on some TV Mountain stuff and stuff. I'm getting caught up. I'm been behind. I'm uh, working on the. You know, I help produce for the YDHWM show, but I'm also got some of the stuff I'm working on. And today, 
I'm putting some energy into there, uh, making some mixes of some local performances. Should be pretty good. I should have them up on TV tomorrow. Yeah. Or actually, it's like Wednesday. Wednesday early morning. That's what I'm aiming for. Is the uh, um, got two half hour shows for after tomorrow's episode on TV. So it should be like at a twelve thirty. In the after right a. after. Hey, right Fre- Freddie. Th- I, yep. I know that there's, there's like this little food zone in the in the studio now, but do you know where a fork? Do you know? I'm looking for a fork. Do you know where a fork is? A fork? No. There's definitely some. Uh, is it something like chopsticks can't handle? Because there's chopsticks in the food zone. I found one chopstick in the food zone. <laughs> no, I guess one chopstick. Or, well, just hey, as useful as you, no fork. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off the the mic for and you want to say something? I'm gonna find a fork, okay, or try to find a fork. All right. Well, what what have you been talking about so far? Give me uh, <laughs> let me what, what's that talking about? <laughs> I've been talking about looking for a fork mostly. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I guess I could talk about other types of utensils, or maybe when you uh, have utensils well, nearby or not. Yeah, I'm sure you can um, handle. I'm gonna find a fork, okay. Okay. Here we go. Well, I guess uh, maybe I'll just tell people about Thurston Community Media because maybe people are watching on TCTV Channel 22 and they might not know what's going on. Or, and maybe they're watching on YouTube and they have no idea that this is even like a public access television show. But I think now, especially since we kind of switched the times and, and now um, what we air on TV is a week behind and what we air on YouTube is two weeks behind, I think we're now more than ever actually a very public access television show centered thing which is pretty good because i feel like even um you know thurston community media recently changed its name to thurston community media and it was tctv thurston community television for a long time and so maybe you know the program um, is trying to keep it in the television thing a lot of people are cutting the cord i've heard of that uh where people you know like i'm cutting the cord I don't need TV. I'm going to watch everything on Netflix. Or they're on just YouTube going to the internet. Whatever. Yeah. Cutting the cord to the internet. I mean, they're still watching TV. It's not like better morally or something. Maybe they like the convenience of choosing or something, but I don't think television is dead. It certainly isn't in my, uh, and I feel like television makes more sense to me in terms of a way to view things. Um, and the program, I think, is trying to get back to that. But, you know, it's, it's like it's all uh, television Everything, if you're watching this on TV, Channel 22, you're like tuned to the channel. Everything else on the channel is also just made by regular people here in Thurston County. So um, that's one thing. And also to the viewers, like you can come on this show and you can also make your own show if you want to. So um, that's what it's all about, pretty much the TV part. You yeah, choose, choosing is a burden. Yeah, it is. I, I found, don't yeah. choose. I found a couple of pens. And I have a, ba- a plastic bag. I might put a, a plastic bag on my hand. Oh, I think. <laughs> really? There's no, no other kind of utensils? I, I swear we've had, like, so many chopsticks. There's bound to be another chopstick. Like, do you, are you counting the metal chopstick as chopsticks? Yeah, yes. And I only found the one in the food zone. And I know you kind of cleaned up the area, like, not too long ago. So, like, I thought, if anything, it's got to be in the food zone, right? Unless it's, like deep into the couch well i can tell you one thing i didn't throw away any forks uh you know i know that that might be but i think whether i cleaned up or not there would still be this the fork shortage i don't think we've had a fork in the studio for a while i found a lot of pens and one chopstick (laughs) oh man um let's see well i know you could you're gonna use the plastic bag with your hands. What kind of a food are you trying to eat? I got Panda Express. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know, chopsticks are not even, especially if there's like rice involved. It's not. I mean, really, you want a spoon or? I'm no, going for. Board? I'm like going for a plastic board. bag on my hand. All right. Well, um, I think that that makes for really good TV. Actually, All right. I think that this is the best choice you could have made. So you got like a plastic bag on one hand and then the mic in the other hand? Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I, I don't, don't like it. Don't get your hands confused. That's, <laughs> I used to be on a, I used to be on a bowling league, and um, one of the whole things is that like, you know, I, I, I think that maybe there are some sanitary issues with bowling, which oh, yeah. you're touching the same like ball that's like, basically it's a it's a ball you put on the floor, and then like. 
the only other things that it touches other than the floor is people's dirty hands. And you don't know whether or not, like, they're washing their hands when they're using the bathroom or anything. So, like, you know, you can consider your bowling hand, which is usually your uh, dominant hand. You know, I'm right-handed, so I use the right hand to bowl. You can consider that hand sort of tainted or, some, or like, at least dirty, for sure dirty. Um, and so, but you're also getting food. And so, like, you want to make sure that you're using your non-dominant hand to eat food. And your primary, like, you know, your regular hand is only for bowling. So suddenly your two hands, they can't do the same thing. Oh, yeah, you're always eating fries and, then, and stuff at bowling, too. Yeah, and, and on one hand, you don't want, like, the grease to get on the ball, but really it's way more about not, like, licking other people's hands, kind of. Yeah, I mean, maybe you can grease up the ball a little bit. Maybe it'll help you bowl. <laughs> All right, yeah, I guess, I mean, I can see that. That's definitely uh that's definitely not the, the worst part of it. The worst right. part is like other pe- touching other people or, you know, hand germs in your mouth. But then other people are doing that too, and then the ball's all greasy, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely. Most people don't practice the uh, the hand thing; they forget. And you know, maybe it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure. I heard that like our stomachs are made to dissolve all kinds of like bad stuff that we could be eating. Like even if it is. Like, apparently you don't really get sick, unless it's, like, food poisoning, you don't get sick from stuff that goes in your mouth. Like, if someone, like, sneezed into your mouth, that would be, like, better than if they sneezed into your eye or your nose or something. Mm-hmm. Cause you're, they're, like, all, your, your, your mouth and stomach are, like, ready for that kind of thing or, like, made for that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm doing this thing. I don't recommend it. The, uh, the bag, the hand bag. Utensil? Mm-hmm. Not for <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures, that's for sure. Um, it's better than not eating, right? Yeah. I forgot to get a fork. They didn't give you any utensils? No, you have they to get it yourself. Express. You have to go to the, the zone, like the, the, the condiment zone and get it yourself. Oh, <clears throat> Well, I mean, if we had, like, easier access to a way to wash dishes, I feel like it would be it would make sense to have, like, a dish set there. But there's not really... No, like, I was... Dirty, I was in the fork in with the me. studio dirty for a long time. I just keep a fork on, on my person at all times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you always got to have a fork. Like, I got this handled. <laughs> In the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, they always uh, say that you should always know, you should always have a towel all the time. Like, um, you should bring a towel with you wherever you go. Oh, uh, yeah. And um, I think a fork is probably good. Would you consider a spork as good or better or worse than carrying a fork around with you all the time? A spork? Uh, yeah, like, what I, if you had a nice metal spork? Like, what do you... What do you eat with a spork? Like, that's good to eat with a spork. Uh, okay, I'm talking about, like, the Chinese food you're eating right there. You know, you can, like, stab the orange chicken or kung pao chicken or whatever it is you got there with the fork tongs, and then you can use the spoon part for the rice. Because, I mean, a fork is not really... It's, like, the same as chopsticks. It's more of, like, a mover. But if you had the spoon capabilities of the spork, you could actually, like, scoop the yeah. rice. I want a spork with a little bit longer... Like, it's like full-size fork, and then a spoon. Oh, interesting. Like, that, uh, that'd be good, because the fork, you eat forwards, and the spoon, you usually are going like, to be slurping sideways, so it's not like you're going to poke yourself with the fork. Huh? Yeah. Or you can, like, scoop through, too, with the fork spoon. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Because basically, the, can, spor- like, the spork, it, like, cuts ends off the spoon, and it's like, I want those ends. It's like, it like has like the downsides of both of the things instead of the upsides of both of them, I think. Really? Well, I, that's not my take on sporks at all, but um, I definitely see what you're saying. I see that like it, it maybe is like a flatter spoon than a regular spoon, and it's like a much shorter fork than a regular fork. Yeah. I, and I can see that those are like negatives of those two things. It's like better to have a deeper spoon, but... And there's um, holes in the front of it. I still think that like the combined benefit is uh, outweighs the problems of the spork. Although I do agree that we could like come up with a better spork with longer tongs and a deeper, um, a deeper yeah. thing. Maybe that's a good 
not really invention, but maybe that's a good adaptation of a thing we could um, Mark, uh, the market only, that. The, the only reason the YDHWN uh, spork. The only reason that the sporks are like they are is because they gotta fit with other utensils. The spork or yeah, regular sporks. Like they gotta oh, match. They gotta fit with, um, yeah. No, they should be replacing all other utensils. I mean, if you had like long enough tongs on a spork, you could use it. You know how most times you don't really need a knife when you have a fork and a knife, and you've got like kind of at least like soft cooked food, mm -hmm. like uh, potatoes or even like most meats. You can usually just slice them with the side of your fork. So yeah. if you could actually add that back spork, then you could replace all utensils, and then you wouldn't need to fit it with anything else because you just need the sporks. Yeah. We really haven't done anything with, like, advancing utensil technology. We get stuck using the same things that we've always used because we uh, get used to that or, like, we get taught that as a kid and then you never think beyond it. Yeah. Well, this, this, uh, <laughs> this bag thing, not a good... Not a good invention. Well, I was about to switch solely to bag. I was about to throw all my silverware away and invest in a bunch of plastic bags, but I guess I won't. And you, you, What's the major downside of the bag technique? The Well, I would say maybe if it was a glove, it would be slightly better. <laughs> like, it's hard to, like, I'm having to hold, like, I'm using, like, some of my fingers to hold down the bag and my, like, middle finger and thumb to scoop. <laughs> yeah. Um. Not. It's not that easy, huh? It's also uncomfortable because it, feel, it just feels like I'm just like shoveling food into my face with my hands. <laughs> when business I'm doing that. <laughs> yeah. I can see that it would be uncomfortable. It's just, it just feels weird to do. Well. well I wonder. I wonder if we can come up with something better than all three of them. Like better than like traditional fork spoon, traditional than or like a better than the spork. Like, what is there any kind of utensil we could come up with that could help us eat better and replace other? I don't. I don't think you could replace like the three, or maybe even chop, including chopsticks. If you have chopsticks, forks, and spoons, and knives, like, and if you uh -huh. have all those things, I can't imagine. Anything that could beat all four of those things, like, cause, like really? together, yeah, together they kind of take up the whole area of shapes. I guess so. I feel like it's to me, it's like chopsticks is not included in that. It's almost the same thing that I'm talking about, which is like some sort of replacement. I, I feel like, like you need in order to do what you can, everything you do with chopsticks, you need a fork, spoon, and a knife, or maybe not a knife. I guess maybe I think, chopsticks don't really do any knife stuff. Like. They, if they made like everything into burritos, or maybe like push like a push pop, you know, like have you seen a push pop? Mhm. Mm so what if you just yeah, like the push pop. had the tube? You had the tube of food, and all the food was like in. You just like shoved all your food into the tube, and then you pushed it up oh, at your face. That's a good idea, but that, that to me that's like replacing plates instead of. I mean, re plates and utensils maybe. Yeah, food oh. tube eater. I can only, I can just already imagine the infomercials for that one. Like, are you tired of, like, spilling the stuff off your plate? Just shove all your food in this tube and then, like, push it up. Yeah. It wouldn't be that bad. I think it'd be a good idea. No. Come on, a restaurant. You could also eat everything. Oh, yeah, food tube, restaurant. Everything's in tubes. Uh... I would eat there. I mean, at least once. Yeah. And uh, see how it'd be that much. It would probably be not like, I mean, it'd probably be nice, but I don't think it would be like so amazing. And I'm like, oh, I'm only going to eat out of tubes. And then also, uh, I don't think that it would be bad. Yeah. Like, how could that be bad? There's no way for that to really be that bad. It's like the food has to be pretty good too, though. Well, yeah, that's everything. Because it's not like any, there's nothing different. It's still food. It's, uh, but I can imagine, like, can you, like, a good macaroni and cheese in that instead of a bowl? You don't have to use a spoon in a bowl. Yeah. It's got, like, macaroni and cheese, and you, like, push it up a little bit into your mouth, and then um, you just do that until you're done. You get all of it that way, too. Yeah. And then, and then you know, like, 
the my I hate leaving even just like the sauce in the bowl, you know, you can tell that it's not all the way gone. And so then, um, with this, you know, you got, you just have a very small surface area that it has leftover sauce. Yeah. It would be hard to clean though. That's why it would maybe have to be like a restaurant. Cause they would have to keep, I mean, I think you just need like some sort of a rubber gasket on the pusher or something. Yeah. So that as you push it through the, the like tube, it is keep, it's like, the, it's tight enough uh, suction on the, the outside of the tube that it doesn't leave anything on there. And so then like in theory, all you'd really have to clean is the pusher because the tube would already have been like, it's tight enough in the tube that it would just like, uh, the pusher keeps all the stuff off the edges of the tube. Yeah, yeah. It's like a can. It's already stuff going. It comes in cans. So you just, like, open the can, and the can also has this, like, second mechanism inside of it. Oh, yeah. That's such a good idea. <laughs> just, like, cook your soup. We sell it to Campbell's. Um, it's the uh, season finale today. Oh, wow. That came up fast. Yeah. Well, um, you know, this has been quite a season. I think this is one of the um, seasons with the most change. You know, most change we have on the program is very gradual, but I think um, from episode, you know, it, you know what it was? It was the 100th day. I feel like once the once we crossed the 100th day, everything changed suddenly. Yeah. I mean, through some, like, abstract way. Um, it, like, it was a landmark we weren't really aware of until we, like, got up to it and did the math. But, yeah. Um, it really changed everything. I mean, nothing is the same. I, I, but if you looked back at episode um, 2,331, it would not be the same. Yeah, we definitely... Well, we went back to our roots. Oh, hello? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're at our, we got back to the roots. Feels good. Yeah, it does. What are we going to do... Season 25, it might be the, uh, I think it's, we're moving into season 25, right? Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. how it works? That's how it works. So, if we did the season 24, it was fun. When did, it, when did season 24 start? Uh, what do you mean, when did season 24 start? Oh, uh, when did, what, what, what day? <laughs> or like, at least uh, in general. Yeah, what was the... Like day, of, what what month was it in? Let's see. Um, I'm trying to remember here. Let's see, twenty three, thirty two. Uh, that was in February. It was on um, February. So it was like really the the year had just barely begun. I was only been one month in. Oh yeah, I don't yeah I don't remember what we did, if anything. I mean, I remember that like uh, maybe like. Four days after that, the episode was called Carl Doesn't Like Commercials. And then uh, I think there were some Mr. Ginsu messages then, too. Carl was, I think we were trying that commercial tape out. Remember that? It was like a tape. Oh, yeah. Not played, it, it played actual commercials. There's some kind of like a VCR that, like the override. Oh, yeah, VCR. the override VCR. We didn't do, we stopped. We never really did that ever. Huh? Only a couple well, we times. We tried it a little bit. It, it did seem to, <laughs> like, wreak havoc with the sync of the episode taping for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, well, I'm glad that we dropped it because some things, we, we try them out and then we don't remind ourselves that we're trying things out. We think that we're just doing it. Oh, yeah. Like, that was a really good um, experience of trying something out and then deciding that it didn't really work. Yeah, because remember, like, info time? I kind of think that I was never that big of a fan of it, but we did it for, like, four years. Mm, I thought, yeah, I, wow. I guess I liked Info Time, but I uh, never really thought about it as, as, like, an option to have it or not have it. It was yeah. just, like, it exists. It yeah. is Info Time. Um, now it's all Info Time. I don't think, you know, that's I like Info Time being gone because it really encourages us to talk about it in a real way more. So if people, you know, if we wanted to share the message, like the info time message, we could actually just like be like, Oh, did you know that you can actually call a show and get on the show? Like if you think you want to be joining the conversation, all you have to do is call three, six, zero, eight, three, six, four, three, eight, four. 
We've uh, we've haven't had the phone number on there since for a while, and I have not noticed any change in volume of calls. Oh really? <laughs> so it's not uh, like suddenly we're getting I'm less not, calls. I'm not surprised. Yeah. We're not getting less calls. We're not getting more calls. Yeah. I mean, I bet the one the one call we're not getting is like the drunk bar callers who are like see us in the bar TV and then call. Yeah, and but they don't answer the next day. But they never, you know, they leave a message and then they never actually talk to us again. Yeah, and they're always so drunk, so. Yeah. Right. Well, what are we going to do? It. We I should mean, do we something for the, don't want... well, for the season premieres tomorrow. Maybe we should uh, go on the streets or something. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am I work 10 to 6 tomorrow, so I can, I'm, I'm free after 6. Yeah, so 9, 9.30? 9.30. Uh, should I get a? Try to get a CCTV camera. Try to sure do, um, a, a, a real season thing. Maybe we could do. You know what I really like is when we start in the studio on the on the show. Yeah. Go like out in the streets, the tape, come back. And then we uh, leave the studio and then come back. Yeah. I like that too. Let's do that tomorrow. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks, Freddie. Uh, even uh, even uh, let's let's add this element into it. Like the cameras have the ability where you could plug them into RCA while they're taping. So we could start, we could actually like have the beginning and end, like start and stop when we uh, connect the camera to and from the setup, maybe. At least we can have the camera connect onto the tape. Anyway, oh yeah, that'd oh, be like, like, got it. Like, got it. We can go for, what if we go for like an hour and 20 minutes? Whoa. What we do is tape, tape some here for just a little bit, and then we pause... I don't know if this is going to be crazy. And then we take the camera out into the streets, and then we come back and play it again. Is that too, that might be too much. I think that's too much. I'm uncomfortable with that. I am too. I'm throwing, <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing things out there. But I think I am also uncomfortable with that. Let's do that. Let's not it's do that. Let's idea. do that. interesting idea. If it was like not, I don't know why I'm uncomfortable with it, but I, I admit that I am like feeling like I'm like, ooh. Like, it, it doesn't feel right. Let's, do, let's just do the regular wrong. thing like we usually do. We're going to edit together a little bit. Yeah, totally. All, All right. right, cool. All right, uh, well, thanks, Freddie. You got anything else you want to say today? No, I don't think so. I, I didn't um, got nothing on, didn't see much on the streets today. Yeah, no, no, I, that's it. That's it for today. Thanks Season for premiere. the calling program. Um, talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wait, yeah. Huh. He said, oh, wait. Back, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. All right, call, calling him back. He said, Oh, wait, and then we didn't wait. Oh, hey, program. <laughs> what what did you say I'll wait for? Oh, well, I was going to say, like, uh, not talk to you tomorrow, but I'll actually be there tomorrow. So oh. I didn't really need to <laughs> okay. say no wait, but I didn't actually mean, like, wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, nothing. It was nothing. Um, yeah, this is not the best, but it's working. I'm eating, but now I only have one hand. I, like, want to go to the common and do the phones. I'm gonna throw this bag away. Do the phones with one hand. It's a little difficult. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the, the thing since we're caught up. We can look at the messages from the past. Okay, I'm gonna put this down and take a break from eating. And see how that even works. What happened last year? Today? It was this. Tape of oh, this was uh, oh, <laughs> we were watching those voter dudes. Oh, yeah, bye. Your daily hour.
Yeah, hey, look at this. Watch for my press releases. <laughs> yeah, well, watch for his press releases. We're looking at this old tape of a uh, of, uh, uh, senator. You want to get voted for? Freddie's here for a minute. Uh, Steve is here. We're talking to Mr. Gintsu. If you remember 1998, you remember those candidates. Look at that uh, goat. Okay, one of another one, 32 a.m. It's a goat. Call message. Get on TV. State and Capitol, come on by. We tape random day parts of the day tonight. To be a voice for Washington's working families, hey. and I'm very proud oh. of all oh. that we have accomplished. <laughs> oh. oh, that was just okay. All right, well, that was that. Let's do our own message of the future now. We're doing this within the show now, these days. Pretty far into this tape now. Talking to the future. Sunday, that's right. So like, oh, jump up there. All right, here is Monday, or yeah, Monday. That's today. I guess I'll try to call. Eh, call Dan Bennett. Yeah, that's it. I'm thinking about it. I might as well. Hey, future. It's us. The past. It's Monday, and it's the season. Finale. Oh, that's we're, we're, that hasn't been the whole time. We're gonna be leaving the season tomorrow. We're gonna be out in the streets, so you can see that next probably. Uh, thank you for being alive and can keep just keep being you. Thanks. Bye. Doing you. All right. Now let's gonna go up here. Oh, oh, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna rewind this tape and take a look at the last week or so. You know, let's give it some time. We can take out a good good amount of past, or it's hard to decide. Do we want to give it a good amount of past or or not, or a small amount of past. You hear that? It's probably is that enough past. Do you have to? Do you have any questions for the future? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> how are you? How are you? Uh, you? Is there what kind of technology do you want? Uh, robots. <laughs> robots. Robots. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta call you. Oh, did we try? Right, oh no, we tried to call you. Fell. Didn't Bye. answer. Was uh. Wait, okay. No. I'm robot. Gonna, basically, we kind of have robots. Yo, fell. Not autonomous robots. Autonomous. Hey, future, it's us the past. Today past. is the Sunday. Sunday. Oh, that was over a week ago. Oh, yeah, we can look at that. That thing's got to be accurate, right? We're, we're got a little bit lost on what day. I mean, this is two stuff. weeks ago, we even. Maybe it's too far. Future. How far back are we going to go and, and watch it pass? We're from the past we're going to look at that and put things together. These things have been long. I'm going to keep it short. Bye. Bye. Hey, future, it's the past. Hey, past. Today, Dan was on the phone for a long time. It was from on this thing. He talked about science and the stuff. On Monday, we called him, and you can call him again. Maybe that's what you're doing now. If you're watching this way to the future, and you can remember back here when we were like, oh, call on Monday, Dan. Maybe we should call Colin Lewis on Saturday. On the oh, phone. Yeah, call Monday? Uh, when, when was this? We'll a week call him next Saturday and I'll say, A Lewis, week ago? Two weeks ago? I'm calling you. Remember. So we don't have to answer the phone, but uh, if you're on the phone there. We're doing this thing in the past and now you're in the future, but how far into the future are you? Like, like we're immediately after this? Probably then. Uh, what else is there? Remember, we got this food, the Iraqi, Iraqi Zoba. And uh, remember how it was back here? It feels good to be uh, in the past. Oh, I wish. And. Uh, it, it, the future simpler. is it, it's a simpler time. It's so complicated now that your life and the world, mostly the world, the society is so complicated. Oh, it's too complicated. The future. Just think back. I, I want a simpler life. We had it easy, and, and uh, things weren't as 
complicated as it's they are so now. complicated now uh, it's only getting more complicated remember you know I'm remembering and you can remember this in the future that it's always that time and oh uh, thank you relish the, the this, uh, oh yeah path. good good path. good point it's always the past and, and it's You're only getting more complicated as time goes on bye bye I'm relish I'm gonna <laughs> I'm starting relishing right now I'm re- I'm doing it I'm relishing relish hi future hi Hello. It's us, the past. Hi, past. Hello. Is that you, future? It is. The bird's back here. Hi, bird. Future. Well, it's so nice to see you. Oh yeah, this is. It's Tuesday. How but are you doing? Episode twenty-four, eighteen. Oh, the second. I think. Uh, what's uh, like in the future? Do you have? We have like over ten days. Part? This might be too many. I think I everyone went doing too far. Very well. You have world peace and federal. We gotta call. Um, we gotta call Yellow Falls. So I'm gonna skip through a couple of these. Uh, there's supper club from like two weeks ago. Uh, I'm glad that we 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 are relishing though. I do feel uh relish. This is the storm. I think uh maybe the next day is the storm. One of these days is the storm. Oh no, that was that that's the storm day. Here's that first Friday from two weeks ago. I'm gonna fast forward until let's say Friday. Let's say Thursday of last week. It's Friday. Saturday. This Friday. On Saturday, last Saturday, but like or two Saturdays ago. The sixth, and then here's the seventh on Sunday. Hey, it's Alex and uh, Joseph, the skateboarder, or mountain boarder. They wanted to say Monday. That's last Monday. Hey, look, I got uh, this food on last Monday too. There's bird back on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then oh the tenth. Yeah, we're getting close. And I said Thursday. This is when we're gonna watch, right? That's what I said. Hidden with yellowfellas on the phone. So this is a message to me in the future if I get hit by a car. Oh, yeah. Um, Place at your funeral. Rest in peace, me. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. My future dead self. You play this at your funeral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. High five. Yeah. Bye, future. Yeah. Yeah, I should give. Bye. I should give myself a high five. Maybe later on. We, well, I could, we could stick it at the end of this just for a second. Hi, future. It's us of the past. We'll put me. the high five. Hey, Mr. past. Yeah, Mr. Hey, Kenny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Gintu's back. We haven't talked to you in a long time, though. Mr. Gintu, and uh, that's it. Ready? Future. All right, like, high five. Okay, future. bye. The future. I'm going to put one on there at the end of this whole thing. It's Friday, right? Here's Saturday. Past. Hey, past. What's the future like? It's great. Remember uh, when your bones were? Oh, I wish they were. all flippity-floppity. It's, it's a tragedy. Your joints? I wish they weren't so flippity-floppity. Look at this. Oh, my joints feel fine. How do your joints feel? They hurt. Bad. Remember the lonely dove five five two three. Oh, the lonely wife. Oh, wait, what was it? Lonely dove flies in the, <laughs> the, lonely, the lonely, the lonely wife. wife. Oh, alone on the things that belong in Paris. Okay, High five. Bye. bye. I have peanuts in my hand. Eat them. Bye. bye. And then this is oh yesterday. We're next. Hi, future. Hi. John, say hi to the future. <laughs> John. John. Right. Say hi to the future. Two now. Here's the pitch. John, he's gonna want to say hi to the John, future. John, say hi to the future. It's Mother's Day. Oh yeah, yesterday was Mother's Day. Did you say hi to your mother? Right, bye, future. Bye, word. What's it like? Okay, and this is Monday. This is today, right? Future, it's us. The past. I passed. It's Monday. Oh yeah, don't the food it's bag. The season finale. Oh, that's today. We're, we're, that has been the whole time. We're going to be leaving the season tomorrow. We're going to be out in the streets. Uh huh. So you can see that next, probably. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being alive. And my pleasure. Just keep being you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Do- All right. Now we're going to go down here and give the, do this quick high five thing. I don't like this. There. Oh, where's? I want me up here. And outside, out there. All right. I'm going to go over this. High five. Ready? One, okay, I'm, I don't need to like this one. It's going to be an extra little thing in the message from the past. Ready? Ready for the high five? One, two, three. High five. Oh, that was bad. One, two, three. High five. High five. I'm going to try I'm going to try that again. Wait, I'm going to rewind this tape. Leaving the season tomorrow, we're going to be out in the streets. 
So you can see that in X probably. Uh, thank you for being alive and can keep, just keep being you. Thanks. Bye. Doing. Doing. All right. Now, <laughs> one more time. One, okay, I'm just. Oh, it's like right here. One, two, three. High five. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna move up here. Oh, okay. Let me rewind the tape a little bit. Get the high five going. Oh wait, how's this gonna work? Oh, I know how it's gonna work. We're gonna go full screen with this one. Oh yeah, and little little screen with little screen full screen. Oh that. Uh oh. And little screen me. A little screen me, full screen that. There it is. And then I gotta go over that here. Next, probably. Oh, and then we gotta. Uh, thank you for being alive and keep, just keep being you. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Do, and I gotta get this in the right spot. One more time. Uh, Whoa, okay, I'm just. It's like right here. One, two, three. High, high five. five. Alright, that was pretty good, right? That was some. That was some uh, effort we put into that, but it worked out. I'm happy about that. Yeah, let's call Yell. Oh, no, we already tried to call Yellow Fellow. He didn't answer. What about Dame Dobler, though? I wonder if it's too late to call him. Well, I don't know if it's too late to call him, but I'm going to call him anyway. He left us a message. Here it is. If he's, if it's too late, he don't need to answer. Nobody's uh, pushing. Pushing? Nobody's pushing. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Me, me and Peter, Peter made, made, made a new movie today. Really? We, we, made, we made a new movie. When can I see it? Yeah. He's coming back, but... Okay. Here we go. It's called Dan Dobler back. Hopefully it's not too late. I think he's will be awake. I believe I believe in his awokeness state. Here goes Dan Dobler. Say, Dan Dobler, are you an awake person? It's hard to ask somebody that. Usually, you already know or don't know. Hello, Dan Dobler, are you an awake person? Uh, no, I'm asleep. Hey, Dan, you're awake. Hi, uh, hi. It's the, yeah, it's the program We're on TV. How, how are you? Hi. Do you, do, uh, what, what what are you doing? Uh, I, I, I'm missing the music. Uh, I, I'm, I'm missing the music uh, on, on, on the TV. What kind of music? Uh... Rock and roll. Oh, good. Hey, do you listen to cassettes, Dan? What? Do you have a cassette player? No. Oh, you don't? Okay. I got some Beatles cassettes I want to give it to you. But you don't have a cassette player, so there's no point. What do you do? So you like CDs? What do you, how do you listen to music mostly? What? You have CDs? TV. Oh, TV, yeah. Was it MTV or what kind of TV is it? Or you just have the music plugged into the TV somehow? It, it, it's just music. That's good. How was the movie? You said you made a movie today, huh? Yeah, yeah. What's it about? Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, did you see the remake? They made a new one recently. Yeah, we saw the new one. Do you like it? Yeah. You like it better than the old one? I think the the old one is a classic to me, and then they can't be re remade. You've seen that the old Disney one from the nineties? Yeah. And which one do you like better? You think the remake or the nineties one? Uh, 
I gotta go. All right, thanks, Dan. Nice talking to you. I don't know about the old, the old one. All right, here we go. It's called uh, McDonald's. Yeah, I gotta get some new with these McDonald's numbers because they're all uh, packed in together. Oh, Dan Bennett. Well, we only have six minutes left. I think Dan Bennett will want to go on. I don't know if we're gonna keep calling him every Monday. I, I don't think we. I don't. Dan, I don't. We don't have enough time. Like, if I called you, I should have called you. Like a long time ago, you could take like half the show. I don't want to call him for six minutes only. So it's not enough time. And uh, yeah, if, it's like if we don't do it now, though, we're gonna continue. It's gonna sometimes when you if you don't if you don't do if you don't keep on keep up traditions, it's hard to uh, get back into them. If you allow kind of <laughs> some flexibility, then it's it's hard to keep it going. Oh, um, this is McDonald's. Uh, same with this McDonald's. I gotta get that other number down because uh, I don't know ab ab about about them. Hello, McDonald's. Hi, McDonald's. I have a question. Do you guys have that food calendar out yet? The food calendar? Yeah, for June. Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Because I heard about these uh, Arctic Orange milkshakes, like the creamsicle flavor. And I heard that they're coming out maybe in June or in summertime. I'm waiting for the calendar to come out so then I can ask you about the calendar. Oh, no, yeah, we don't have it yet. We only have the May one. Oh, like strawberry? Uh, but we haven't heard about new shakes yet, but I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, what do you, what's on, the, what's new? What do you have? Uh, just a new burger, the sweet barbecue bacon. And then later throughout... Maybe summertime, we're getting a new McFlurry topping. Oh, yeah. It's sweet? It's extra sweet? Uh, for the Mc... I know it's chocolate. I think it's like Rolos or something. Oh, Rolos. Yeah, but sweet... No, but the, the, the barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, it's a sweet barbecue bacon. But it's extra sweet because barbecue sauce... Your barbecue sauce is pretty sweet already. Uh, it's not that sweet. Yeah, is this the name? Uh, it's it's not that sweet. It's like it has bake. It has the barbecue, uh -huh. but there's like uh, a little flavor of onion. Oh, that sounds so pretty good. Sweet. Yeah. It is oh, sweet pretty good. sweet onions. Yeah, it has grilled onions and crispy onions. Oh yeah, the, but the sweet onions is a thing. I think it, maybe that's what they're talking about in the title: is the onions and not the sauce. Yeah, it's it's really good. Oh, good. Thank you. No uh, problem. Uh, thank you very much. All right, have a good night. Oh, you too. What a nice McDonald's person. That was the best. I don't know if I can go for another one now. Like, sometimes you get good ones, and sometimes you get people that are not so nice. And if you complete the call, this is something I haven't thought about in a long time. I used to say this all the time, maybe when I was calling more McDonald's, though. But some McDonald's, when you call them, I start asking them basically the same kind of things. I started off a little bit different on this one with the calendar thing. But you say basically the same thing. And then they say, like, hey, oh, I don't like this. And they hang up. They're like, you're pranking me. They decide that it's a prank. And it's not really a prank. I'm, I'm asking them questions, talking to them about them. I might actually get some of this stuff, too. Maybe I'm talking to them about that stuff for real. But uh, hey, if I found out that they got the orange milkshakes, I would definitely would get one now. So maybe I'm asking about the orange milkshakes forever about because I want to, them to come back. But uh, you can hang up and you can be angry and say, no, I'm angry. You are tricking me. I don't, I'm hurt that I'm being tricked and I'm going to move on to anger because I feel like you're, you're trying to harm my emotions and I don't like that. And so they hang up and uh, and they feel bad that like, that person tried to harm me in some way. I'm going to hang up. I hung up on them, but I, I'm, I'm, you know, you're not happy. You're not still not happy at that point. Or you can do what that great McDonald's employee did and just go through and answer and talk about the things and tell me about the sweet bacon burger onion and sweet onion i don't sweet onions and uh, get through the whole thing and at the end of the night you say at the end of the talk you say thank you have a nice day and i say you have a nice day what a pleasant talk we just had on the phone i'm very happy that we had this talk are you happy that we had this talk they didn't go this far with it but i think that if i were to ask them about their happiness that they would have it. And I think those other people, maybe they wouldn't have it. But maybe they didn't have it in the first place. And 
that's why they're hanging up. So is it like, it's if you're already having a bad day or a negative disposition, then you're gonna hang up. And if you're already having a positive disposition, then you're gonna stay on the phone. Maybe it's just a continuation. It's like a, I don't know if it's like a cycle or a spiral. It's like a spiral more than a cycle because you're just, you know, spiraling into negativity. Oh, and that's hard to do. It's hard to like spiral out of a spiral like that. And it's sad to be living in a spiral. So if you find yourself that you think everywhere you go, people are victimizing you. I mean, not, sometimes people are. But if you, th- if you think everybody, you go around like that stranger, you think strangers are after you and stuff. Maybe you're having a negative spiral and you can, you know, really hard. You got to turn around and you got to re-spiral. The, the thing about the spiral, you're so far spiraled in, you have to re-spiral happy, happiness. And you, if you fall back into the into your 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 sad negative spiral, it's very easy to get right back into that. So you got to like concentrate on unspiraling. And then once you're actually unspiraled, then it'll be easy to continue to unspiral into happiness after or positivity at least. I'm not like I'm trying to say like be positive all the time, but at least give uh, you know your full thing. And if you get just get short and angry with people, that's not going to be very fun, I think. Like those McDonald's people. Yeah, but you can live a, a funner life. Not everybody is uh, trying to fight you, or you're not you don't need to win situations. Uh, you want people want to win things. We talked to uh, Dan Dobler and Freddie for a while about the season finale, and we looked at that message from the year because we're caught up, and we looked at a couple of messages from the past, and we made some messages to the past, and we decided what we're going to do tomorrow for the season premiere. And we kind of reminisced a little bit too, and I looked for a fork, and I used this bag as a fork. It wasn't a good solution. I'm, uh, I lived, remember in the beginning of the episode, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to live through this episode, and right now I'm, I've survived, and if I survive for the next, like, two minutes, then I'll have made it through the entire episode, and I am strongly confident, I was pretty confident at the beginning of the hour that I was going to live through this hour, and now I'm strongly confident that I'm going to live for the next two minutes, and if I die in the next two minutes, it'll be... I'll be, I'll be a die happy, I guess. But how is that going to happen? Like, the ceiling going to cave in on me, or I'm just going to suddenly have a coronary? Uh, that would be bad. But it could happen. So make sure you get yourself out of the spiral as soon as you can. Okay, we're. I wanted to use the remote, but I don't know what I did with it. Probably moved around. I'm going to find it like the. Uh, work. Oh, here's the remote. Right when I use it, well, I can still use it. I still use it because I didn't put this other tape in. There we go. Now I'm using the remote. Wait. Look. Oh. Oh, now i got to do this. Okay. This is so I can... You can see me use the remote. Oh, there it goes. Thanks for watching. It's Monday. Season finale, YHWMTC TV on channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. YHWM.com, yes. 360-836-4384, it's our phone number. You can call us, leave a message, and get on TV. And YHWM, 109 State Avenue, number three. Yeah, check it out. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, LaBebe, Jordan, Fabulous, Graham, Graham, Substance.com, John Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers and listeners, I see you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.